Hi, my name is Lindsay. I'm here with EquipMe OT to talk about installing an elongated raised toilet seat. So today the product I'm using is this particular one called the Toilet Seat Elevator. It comes in a three and a half inch rise. It's installed on an elongated or European style. It's the same thing. It's just different names and it holds up to 300 pound weight capacity. Um, this type of toilet seat is installed uh, fairly permanently um, in, in the sense that you do remove your toilet seat, use some tools. Uh, it is meant to be placed in one bathroom and left there. It can be removed eventually, but it is a bit more cumbersome to do so. So this product looks like this when it comes out of the box. You can see the three and a half inch rise here. You've got the holes in the back where the screws are going to, or the bolts are going to go in to fasten it to your toilet. It should have four intact foam pieces. This is meant to protect the porcelain um, of your toilet, which is very important. In addition to that piece of equipment, you should also receive two bolts, long bolts, that come with fastening wing nuts. Uh, you want all of these things together because they all are meant to go together. So in addition to that, you may need a flathead screwdriver. Some of these products do come with Phillips heads as well. Some toilet seats are Phillips heads, so you'll just have to see what you have. Um, you may need one or the other. So the first step in doing this process, an installation process like this, is to open up the back of your toilet seat. So if you've never done this before, they're usually clipped down like that and can be popped up with your thumb. Sometimes if they're really sticky, um, you may need to use your flathead screwdriver to help pry them up. There's usually a little place to set that. All right, so you're gonna see that there's two screws in the back. These have to be removed and set aside in order to install. So I'm gonna place my flathead screwdriver here. I'm gonna reach underneath and find the accompanying nut and I'm gonna remove that. So you'll see I've got those pieces here. I'm gonna remove the screw. I wanna keep all this assembly together um, in case I wanna go back to its original height. So we're gonna set these aside. All right. And be cautious as well. Um, as you can see, these are plastic and oftentimes a very soft plastic. So if you're dealing with a toilet seat that hasn't been removed in a very long time, oftentimes these are tough to get out and you'll see the plastic gets damaged very quickly. You can strip one of these very easily. So be careful um, and just a heads up about that issue. I've run into it a few times. So now I should be able to lift off my toilet seat completely and set it aside. This is a great opportunity to give your toilet a really good thorough cleaning, partly because when you remove it, you can get underneath the toilet seat really thoroughly. And another reason why is when you install this type of toilet seat, you can't get underneath to this part of the porcelain very easily without removing the entire structure. So it's a great opportunity to get it good and clean ahead of time because you're really not gonna be able to get to it again unless you remove the whole, th whole fixture. So now for installation, I'm gonna place the black foam pieces down with the holes lined up over the back. That should. Perfect. So these are meant to be elongated to kind of allow a little bit of shifting room because some toilets are even longer than others. This is a very long, bold toilet. I'm gonna take my toilet seat and set it on top, lining the holes up in the back. So it should all fit together pretty simply. And now you're going to take your bolts and you're gonna slide them all the way through and they should slide in without any resistance. Be, no, be aware that some toilet seats do not work with these types of risers because of these bolts. If you have a wooden toilet seat, those old fashioned wooden toilet seats, they have very small holes in the back and they do not fit this particular type of bolt. So you may need to go out and buy a different toilet seat that would fit this bolt to use this type of riser. Also, the new toilet seats that come with the um, quick remove click uh, back pieces do not work with these as well. It's just the system that they've put in place. Those are newer within the last few years. I've been running into them more and more and they do not work with this type of bolt either. So you need kind of the old fashioned standard toilet seat system like this one. So you're gonna take your flathead screwdriver, place it in here, place your wing nut underneath 
And this takes a little doing because you can't see what you're doing, but and then you're just going to screw this in snug but not too tight. Again, you're working in porcelain. You don't want to over tighten these and you may want to check on these every so often to make sure that they're staying tight. Over time they may loosen a little bit. So if you can start getting a little give in your toilet seat, you may need to do that. Okay, now we can close these flaps again. Check for sturdiness. Oh, this is really good. Everything's on, everything's square. You shouldn't see a lot of gapping here or here when the toilet is completely closed. Also check to make sure you can open your toilet seat all the way. Some toilet seats have short hinges um, and those short hinges sometimes will run into these when the um, bolts are in place. So just double check that, that the seat opens up all the way. Shouldn't be a ton of wiggle, but again, you don't want to fasten these so hard that they uh, run a risk of breaking the porcelain. So maybe a little bit of wiggle, that's okay. The rise is good. I'm going to test it out. Okay, so I'm going to take a turn here, place my hands here and here to make sure everything's stable before I sit. Square myself up on it. Everything feels good. The height is appropriate for me. I'm going to try a little wiggle, make sure everything's in place, everything's solid. Then I'm going to try standing up again from it. I push from the middle. You can push from the sides. I'm going to use my countertop for some support as well. Push up from it. Everything looks good. So we're all installed here. This can be left. The beauty of this type is once it's in, it's in for good. You don't have to worry too much about adjusting it or making any changes to it over time. So if you have any questions about this particular product or other products like it, please feel free to leave a comment in our comment section. If you have any other interests in other equipment or um, tutorials, please consider subscribing to our page. Thank you very much.